I found this power supply. Uh, I was looking around in some some boxes in my sort of stash of electronics, and I found this uh, switch mode power supply, which I'd completely forgotten I bought. As you can see, it's rather small and uh, compact. So it's 12 volts, 2 amps, uh, and really can fit in quite a small space. So we've got all the connectors at one end, so we, we've got the uh, live and neutral coming in from the mains here. Uh, we've got a ground pin, protective ground I think. And then we've got uh, V minus and V plus, which gives us our output. Uh, there's also an adjuster here, so um, I might experiment with that uh, and see if see what range of voltage you can adjust this to. So when I came across this, the first thing that came into my mind was this. Um, a buck boost converter that I showed a few weeks back um, so I thought this would make quite a good pairing because the two of them together is it's going to take up very little space so I could make another compact power supply so I, have, I haven't actually found an enclosure yet but I thought I could fire this up and, um, and we'll connect it up and make sure that everything works. Right, so I screwed uh, some wires for my mains cable onto there, and so we can power on. Oh, we've got a little lead there showing us that the power's on. That's quite handy. It's just. Uh, Check voltage. What's happening there? Two, four, six. Okay. Uh, right, so I'll just cover those terminals up with something to uh, make sure I don't nudge it by accident. All right, so we'll check the output voltage. see what I'm doing. Right, so we'll turn this adjuster all right so we go up to 13.8 volts or down down to about 8 volts I'm not sure how useful that is, but in, in any case, um, this uh, buck boost converter is um, it's obviously able to boost the voltage up, so I probably don't need to mess with that. Right, so we've got the buck boost, uh, the input wires are here. on the 
that side. There's the positive. So you can see the input, the input voltage, 12.1 or 12.2 volts. It's measured here. And you see uh, this is set for 20 volts at the moment, but you can see that it can it can boost up from 12 volts to uh, to a higher voltage so this is going to be quite a useful little pairing i think um, so the next thing will be to find a suitable enclosure so i'm going to try and find something um something that looks a bit like a, an instrument you know hopefully with a um you know something with a tilting bale perhaps um, but yes, I'll look around for something suitable for these components so I can make another power supply. So I've actually found an enclosure uh, since I recorded those other bits of video. So let's have a look. So this is from a UK company on eBay, uh, L Top Electronics. It cost twelve pounds. You see, it's got two pieces, like so. So there's a front panel and a back panel. Whoops, the same. Just slots in this little guide here. Um, there's some vents which could be useful to vent the power supply, and then there's some hardware so four mounting screws to hold the top and bottom together, and um, with little feet as well so it can stand off the desk a little bit. So that's what I'm going to use with the power supply. I just grab the other parts. So that's going to sit in the front panel there. And there's plenty of room in here near the vents to install my little power supply. And perhaps, you know, perhaps there'll be a a fuse in there as well and uh, haven't really thought about main switches but you see there's room on the back panel for a main switch so that'll be all right so there we go those are the pieces i'm going to pull together into my new uh, buck boost power supply <laughs>